Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here in this video, I'll be doing a long blinged out stiletto set that is Valentine's theme. That is, you can see, I am grabbing a fine sanding pen and removing the shine from the nail and then cutting them down. And then I am going to be applying my tips as you can see here. And I did use a very long XL stiletto tips as you can see. And then I will be cutting them to about a 6 or 7, I don't quite remember. But I did cut them down as you can see. And she did want them stiletto. And one tip I do recommend is to use an L form so that way you guys. Um, can use it to measure each nail so that way all the nails are even and then like I said I did cut the sides just to make it easier for my stiletto shape as you can see and I am using a 180 file and I will be filing the sides I want to tell you guys I took forever on the shaping I took forever but it was okay because it came out bomb I love 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 how this set came out and I'm really proud and then here as you can see I'm using my fine sanding band to uh file wherever the natural nail and the tip me and then I did doss it off and then here I am going to go in with my young nails protein one and i will be applying this to all the nails and then to my pinky to start off i did go ahead and apply it again and the color that i am going to go in with is nail supply glamour sexy red it is a bomb red i definitely recommend to have this in your collection as you can see this is what it looks like and i will be applying this to all the nails before i forget i do want to mention that in the beginning i wasn't going to record this set but then i end up did i did end up recording it for you guys and i did um push back your cuticles and i cut them and then i went in and filed um to remove the shine so here on the ring finger i will be creating a marble with the clear and the same red and i will just be creating a marble and then i will be applying some red hearts onto the nail and then i will be encapsulating it with my clear but my lighting changed um and it did happen i believe also later on in the video and i'm not sure why but i do apologize for it um you can still kind of see but it just looks like bright i'm not sure why i why it happened or why i did that but i do apologize for that but like i said i am gonna go ahead and encapsulating with my clear with my music clear and like i said i will be linking all the products that i use linked down in the description so make sure to go check that out also, I do want to mention, I did go a little heavy in on this ring finger to encapsulate it. I'm not sure why. Like, right after this, I should have stopped. But I'm not sure why I kept going. Um, But, yeah. I did go ahead and encapsulate it with my clear. <laughs>
after encapsulating my ring finger, I did go ahead and encapsulate the pinky as you can see here. And I just went in and encapsulated with my clear. So then on the thumb, I did go ahead and apply my Young Nails Protein Bond and then I did go ahead and apply the Sexy Work from um, Nail Supply Glamour and I applied this to the whole nail and I will be doing the same thing that I did to the pinky. I just applied the red and then I did go ahead and encapsulate it with my clear. So then here on the pointer finger and the middle finger, I did go ahead and apply my protein bond. And then I did create this um, glitter or acrylic, whatever you want to call it. I did create it so we can get it, but I just mixed a silver. This is what I use whenever I'm doing a full bling down nail. I like to use the glitter underneath whatever color um, crystal I'm using. So if I'm using a red um, crystal on the whole nail, then I go in with the red glitter, if that makes sense. So I did go in with the um, crystal AB color. So I like to go in with like a holographic glitter, which is, this is what I used. So as you can see, I did go in and apply that to the whole nail. I did put it a clear, a, a clear bead um, on the natural nail just so that way the glitter doesn't stay on and it's easier to come off whenever I do soak offs on her. She does like to ask for soak offs, so um, I do do them for her because she does pay extra. So um, I did go ahead and apply the glitter and I will be putting it to the whole nail and then I will be going ahead and encapsulating it and I will be doing the same thing that I do to the middle finger. Um, go in with the, with the glitter and then with the clear and then encapsulate it. Um, just because these two fingers she did want them all blinged out and I did do the same design that I did on this hand to the other hand. And one thing I do want to mention, as you guys can see, she did like move and that's because she was falling asleep. I don't know if you can see on the right top corner there's a pillow there so she was laying her head down and then she kind of like twitched so just a little fi that's where she moved if anybody's wondering
this is after my application i'm just showing you guys a little side view of what my nails look like so with the little apex you know whatever um this is what they look like and i still am gonna go in and file shape and everything and this is what it looks like after it's just done i'm done shaping filing buffing all of that i didn't include it just because i don't know i took forever so i didn't want to include it but i did go ahead and include my bling so here's you can see i am gonna go in with some ss20s right here in the middle and i will be doing the same thing that i did to the other hand i did the exact same um crystal design so um i did also go ahead and use my zule glue the squeeze bottle and the regular bottle you will see later on that i used the bottle as well and then i am using my activator and I, as you can see here i do ask my client to turn just so i make sure that their crystal is nice and aligned and symmetrical you know i've, got, I've talked about this before and it is a very, very very big thing because it is very different from when you're looking at the nail and your client is looking at their nails so you want to make sure that you turn your hand as you can see here i'm using um her other hand just so I could see making sure that they're nice and even so I did go in with this big um heart shaped crystal and I am using only crystal AB Swarovski and then here as you can see I'm just adding filling in the spots this I didn't really um make so much even but I did here I am just adding an SS16 I excuse my voice um it, it keeps cracking but um sorry y'all Anywho, I did go in with um, the first column being the SS4, SS6, 10, 12, 16, and 20. Those are the only sizes that I use for um, this particular container that I have here that I'm showing you guys on the screen. For my colored crystals, I do go in with um, the smallest being SS5, 7, 9, 12, 16, and 20. So just a little FYI, I will be doing a crystal organization video very, very soon. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And I will be talking more about the crystals. So here's you can see, I do go in with a mixture of sizes. And I'm just filling in the spots as you can see. And I will be doing this to only the middle finger on the, on the pointer finger. I will be doing the exact same thing except just with a different sized um, shaped crystal. I do want to say here i do apologize i do get a little bit out of frame which i do apologize for but um i'm just adding the crystals like i said and yeah
then here, like I said, I did go in with a different shaped uh, crystal. And I will be going in with the marquees. And these are the biggest sizes um, that Swarovski does in the shaped crystals. So this is the marquees. And then the other one was a heart. And like I said, here I am turning my client's hand just so I can see what it looks like. Make sure that it's nice and even. And then I do, I will be filling in the spots. And the first I go in with the SS16 um, to place on the side of the SS20s. And then I do go ahead and fill in the spots as you could see. And we'll be filling the whole note with Crystal AB and in different sizes. the whole middle and pointer finger i do go ahead and activate it with my activator and i am going to go ahead and apply crystals all around this finger and i did go in with only ss6 no sorry x ss7s on the finger which now that i realize i do i believe i have a combination of ss6 and ss7 in that particular um little um slot that i'm pulling crystals out of so just a little FI, but I am using SS6 and SS7 to um, fill in the hole around the nail. And then at the very, very end, wherever it's pointy at, I do go ahead and add only two SS4s. Just because, um, obviously, it's not going to fit. So, yeah, just a little FI. So just, I am going in with the Zule glue, as you can see, the bottle. And I will be applying this to the hole finger and just applying it around and you will see that i do the glue does dry up on me a little bit so i do go ahead and go in with my nippers and take off the crystal if i didn't place it right and if i dried out too quick and then i go ahead again and do it again
done applying the bling on this finger, I do go ahead and apply my activator. And then here, as you can see, I did go ahead and apply a heart. Um, this is like the medium, like the middle shaped heart. I'm not exactly sure on the exact sizings, but I just say like to me, I just say like large, medium, and small because um some shaped hearts they do have either three sizes or just two depending on the crystal but here's you can see this is what they look like and then here on the pinky i do go ahead and apply my glue and then i will be going in with the ss21 first as you could see and then i will be using her other hand to just make sure that they're nice and even just so i make sure that the that they look even whenever like if somebody were put them together by each other that's one major thing you want to do when applying crystals um, just so that they don't look off and you don't look bad or whatever. And then I will be going in with the SS16 as you could see. And then I will be applying some SS10s. Two SS10s on the top and the bottom as you can see here. And then after this, um, I will go ahead and add some SS7s um, around the SS20 as you could see. Um, I think it looked cute like this, but she did want a little bit more. So, um, I just went ahead and applied some SS7s here on the side of the SS20. And I applied three on each side. And then, obviously, I do go ahead and apply my activator um, to activate it and make sure that they don't go nowhere. So this is what they look like after. This is how the bling looks. It looks bomb. I love, love, love. So this is how the shaped heart looks. Um, just a little FYI. And then I will be going in with just a napkin and some alcohol just to clean the crystals. Um, obviously because when you do spray the activator, um, it does spray onto the crystals. Obviously, so you want to make sure you clean them. That's one major, major one thing you want to do, because it does make a difference. And I've seen that it makes a difference before. I wouldn't do this, and it was just kind of like, oh, like I don't know how to take it off, but um just a little tip um this is how you do it so make sure to clean your crystals so this is what they look like super blingy and then i am going to go in with my top coat i am using the libra glossy finish top coat and i will be applying this to all the nails and curing it for 60 seconds <music> So after I apply my top coat, I do go ahead and use my cuticle oil and just apply it to the cuticles, making sure that they look bomb in pictures. And after this, this is the final result and I hope that you guys enjoyed. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you guys like this video. Do not forget to subscribe because at 10k I will be doing a giveaway. Do not forget to turn the bell so you don't miss a video. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment down below your thoughts on this set. And this is the final result, just some quick little videos so you always could see. And hope that you guys enjoyed and see you guys in the next video.